Good afternoon. Oh, come on, you're a little more excited than that, right? <laughs> Good afternoon. For, uh, for those of you who don't know me, anybody here doesn't know me? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Jeffrey Putman, I'm the Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs. And on behalf of all of us, congratulations, Class of 2024. I'm just going to go over how this is all going to work first, and then we have you know, about an hour worth of speeches. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, uh, so how this is going to work is uh, Dr. Riley and Dr. Brunicardi are going to bring a couple of words, some, some words of wisdom, some advice uh, on what's going to be your next few years. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to ask you, after they speak, I'm going to ask you to get up. You'll see there's letters along the side. That's for your last name. That's where you're going to get your envelope. So when I tell you, not now, when I tell you, you can just locate where the letters are for now. Uh, the student is going to go up and get your envelope, right? And when you get your envelope, you're not going to open the envelope. <laughs> you're not going to put the envelope up. <laughs> right? Um, and don't look at your email. And, and the other thing is, do not look at your You're going to put your phones <laughs> away because <laughs> There was a year that the NRMP sent the email at 11.56. Yeah. <laughs> and that kind of ruins the surprise. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to get you to, to open that envelope right at the time you need to open the envelope. But, but yeah, don't look at the phone at like 11.55 or after, because um, you don't want to <laughs> ruin the surprise. Um, so, without further ado, we'll get started. I'd like to ask President Riley to come up and say a couple of words. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. Well, good morning, class of 2024. You guys got to get used to that, right? Uh, what a great day. Welcome to Downstate for your, uh, your parents, uh, friends, grandparents. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, for a great day in the life of your loved one. And, uh, as I was shaving this morning, guys, I was thinking about my match day some 30 years ago. Thank you for that. But I got to admit, guys, I still have PTSD from it. I didn't sleep the whole week before, and I'm looking at some of you guys. You guys didn't sleep. My then fiance, now my wife, said I was just terrible to deal with for two weeks prior. Um, and I, I just remember that whole week before, and then being in an auditorium just like this, and you know, they had, the, 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 we pass them out here, it's real genteel here. They were just tacked to a board at my medical school, and it was battle royal, it looked like WWE, <laughs> trying to get to the board to get the envelope. But doctors, there are, I don't know, you may have heard me say this, maybe when you got here at White Coat, but there's Three great days in my life as a physician I will never, ever forget. Number one, the day I got my first acceptance to medical school. Today is the second match day where you find out where you're going to continue this great educational journey you have been on since preschool, some of you, uh, to be a doctor, to be a physician, one of the, the most impactful things a human being can do uh, to serve others. And then in a few short months, it's going to be the first day of internship, the other day in my life that I can remember like it was yesterday. And again, you may have heard me tell this story, but my first day as an intern, I was on the 12 noon to midnight shift, and I remember walking, I started in the ER, I was, I'm an internist, and I started the emergency room, and I trained at Baylor in Houston, it was 99 degrees, and I had on my fresh scrubs, and I, unfortunately, they put the interns at a parking lot like nine miles away. And I'm walking into the heat, walking to the emergency room, Chuck. Chuck was at Baylor as well. And I'm dripping wet, and my knees are knocking. I just never forget that day's long to live, because that was my first day as a real doctor. So a few hours into my shift, let's see, this, I got there at 12, so about 2.30, I hear this nurse say, Doctor, get over here. And when I heard that, I did this. <laughs> you. 
what's your name? She looked, Riley, get over here. <laughs> There's a patient having trouble breathing. Um, but that's, <laughs> that was my first day internship. So it's amazing how these, these days are indelibly marked uh, into your mind as a physician. And like I said, I, I remember this day so well. The other thing, you know, I have to admit, uh, I didn't match it in my first place. I didn't match it in my third place. Baylor was actually my third place. I don't think my career turned out too bad. Um, so don't, don't get, you know, too upset if you get down to your second or third place because, guys, you're still going to have a great life. And you're going to go to great places to train. And that's what we want for you when you come to this great health sciences university that means so much to all of us who are on the faculty, uh, the city, and the state of New York. So again, congratulations. Celebrate. Cherish this moment with your friends and families and significant others. And get some sleep over the weekend. <laughs>
So before we start the next uh, phase, uh, just to go over a couple things, uh, you all have these lovely, uh, I don't even know what they're called, these little cards, right? Uh, plaques, right? Plaques. There, there are um, uh, markers outside, so once you know where you're going and what you're going to specialize in, you can fill these out with the markers and we would like you to share these on social media, right? And, and so that we can help share them, we will then, do we call it, I'm not calling it X. We'll retweet you. Um, I'm still calling it Twitter. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll reshare it on Facebook and Instagram, right? So make sure that you, uh, you fill these out and you post uh, these with, with your picture. Uh, and if you put the hashtag downstate match, I put it up there, downstate match, uh, then we'll make sure we'll go find them and we'll, we'll repost them uh, because we want to celebrate with you. Um, so that's why we're giving you these. Um, also, you all got these, the lovely t-shirts. So uh, I have my props here, right? Lovely t-shirts. Very nice. Look, yes, mom. And these are, uh, these are gifts from your med council. Can we have a round of applause for your med council? They've been really great. They also want to take a class photo at the end. And I know that's not the first thing that's going to be on your mind at the end, right? Um, so we're going to do it on the stair. So right after, we're going to, if you just go out right to those stairs, we're going to take a class photo. Um, the class got some sponsors for your senior week activities, and they want to help thank them by taking a picture uh, and, and giving it to the people who, uh, who help sponsor your senior week activities. So 1215, right outside. Um, OK, ready? OK. So you're going to now go, and you're going to go to the, it's by your last name. You remember your last names, right? <laughs> go to your last name. Bring your envelope back to your seat, and then we'll tell you how the rest of it's going to work. gentlemen. I know you're all excited. If I can have your attention. This is, this is the hardest part for me because I now have to keep you from those envelopes for another four minutes and 15 seconds. Um, so I have some statistics here, okay, to tell you where you're going. Before we do these, by the way, um, there's a number of faculty and staff who've joined us to help celebrate with you. Can I have a round of applause for the faculty and staff here in the back? So as Dr. Brunicardi said, um, this is probably the statistic that we are the most proud of at Downstate. Um, the so there's 201 of you, by the way, 201. 148 of you, that's 73.6, if we're trying to be exact, percent, are staying in New York State. That is great. Uh, 103 of you, 51.2% in New York City. <laughs> Biggest specialty this year, as it is every year, uh, medicine categorical. 37 of you are going into a medicine categorical program. Coming up number two this year, anesthesiology, 24. <laughs> two programs tied for three, third place. Emergency medicine and, for the first time, psychiatry, 17 of you. <laughs> 14 of you into pediatrics. And I know Dr. Brunicardi will be happy about this. 10 of you into surgery. And, and also 10 into urology. Minute and a half. 
can you wait a minute and a half? No. <laughs> Don't worry. It's almost here. Uh, our biggest hospital uh, that people are going to, number one, as it is every year, is our own SUNY Downstate. 31 of you staying here. 20, 22 of you are going to uh, Northwell Hospital. 22. Um, 14 each to uh, Monty, Jacoby, Einstein, or NYU. Uh, 11 of you are going to our sister institution at Stony Brook. 45 seconds. Mm. Ele uh, I'm sorry, nine of you are going to Mount Sinai West, uh, and seven to Maine Mount Sinai. There's also a, there's a lot, a, you're, I think you're all going to be very happy. So we're going to do this like New Year's. You all remember how to count, right? <laughs> So we're going to count down from 10, and then it, the numbers will be on the screen if you don't remember how to count down from 10. And then we're all going to open the envelopes together. Are you ready for it? Okay. Hold on. Before we start, right, I did this across the street. Not all of you were there. You don't have a glass, but I snuck one in. Don't tell them. All right. So. One last time, a cheers to the class of 2024. It's apple cider, I swear. For now. For now. For now. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. We're going to count down from 10 together, and then you're all going to open your envelopes. Remember, five minutes, uh, sorry, 1215, we're going to take the picture outside. Don't forget. Ready? Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, I got my top choice, so what can I say? I just want so I matched this anesthesia. Uh, I'm doing my first year at LIJ, and then I'm doing the next three years at NYU Manhattan. Columbia for internal medicine. Oh, we neighbors. <laughs> that's Harvard. Harvard boy over here. <laughs> Psychiatry. <laughs> I'm matching to radiation oncology at NYU. Super excited. Let's go. I'm uh, going to Beth Israel Deaconess uh, in Boston uh, to study psychiatry. It's beyond words. Give all the praises to the Lord who sustained us through the journey. I, I, I just I just don't know what else to say, but thanks to God. I matched uh, pediatrics at Columbia. Very, very excited. 